Nico's Rentas here at MentorsApproach.com. Uh, today's uh, email is all about self-love. It's all about, you know, you've gone to that place where you've fixed up yourself, you've lost weight, you've gotten your career, you're growing, you're ready to go. You know, that bad breakup a couple years ago really means nothing. You've been dating, now what? what what's the next stages in life and uh, where does it go from here? So I got a great email and uh, it's really inspirational. At the same time, it's giving us the next stages of what do we do. So here we go. Hi, Nikos. I started watching your video about a year ago. Videos. I read your Instagram daily and I love what and how you write. Thank you. I've, you know, in high school... My teacher said I sucked at writing, and uh, I'm, practice makes perfect, I guess. I wanted to drop you a line to say thanks. After my ex left, I was devastated, and depression had taken over. I have since hit the gym and lost 60 pounds. Fucking A. Finally moved to California. Another fucking A. And living beachside with a new job. That's like a freaking triple fucking A right there. Sorry for the swear words, but this is awesome. This is the kind of stuff I like to see, okay? This is just like, just movement. It's always continual movement forward. My question is, now that I started dating again, how do I know which one is right for me? I mean, I don't want to get stuck with a narcissist again. Nobody fucking does. And like, look, you don't need to be stuck with another narcissist. You're you're dating. You, you should be vetting these girls out thoroughly. Why are you rushing? You shouldn't be rushing. You should be enjoying this time, man. Take, take some time on it. I'm currently dating five different women, spot on, for about a month now. Uh, uh, okay, so you're dating... You're, you're dating. That's all you're doing. Uh, one of them seems like she is the one, but I don't want to risk it. So you, you don't want to risk the whole dating thing you're doing right now, which is, you know, it's good and bad. Okay. You're, you're, you're putting your mindset on pressure zone and you're trying to figure out what's best case for you based on what you've done. The reality is that you've moved from you know, this place where you were, you were down and out and you're gone. Okay. The, you got cleaned out to him completely. And now you're over here where you're back. You're, you're, you're basically playing tennis with all five of them on the other side and you're doing well. Let it be well. What's going to happen is as you continue to date them, you're going to find interest in one more than the other. Uh, the other girls will find more interest in you and they're probably dating other guys. So they might find interest in the other guys. So depending on how you play your cards with the girls, they will either build up more attraction for you or decrease the attraction. Your focus, and from what it seems here that you know your, your career is your focus, is, is your career, it's your body, it's making sure you're, you're enjoying your life and doing something that's amazing. That is your focus, it's your purpose. Right now, at this moment, that's your purpose, so focus on it. The women in your life will either build that attraction with you and, you know, they'll, they'll see that and you'll be, you just need to be focused on the rules of the game. You're doing well. I, I see you've read my work and you've, you've watched like a lot of my videos and posts. So all you need to do is keep doing what you're doing. The girls that really like you will stick. The girls that don't, won't. Okay. And the ones that stick around for a prolonged period of time, well, those are pretty much the ones that are really into you and you into them or else you wouldn't be hanging out with them. The whole point of this whole renew of you is to not settle for anything. You're not going to settle at 60 pounds. You're going to keep going and maintaining your lifestyle. You're not going to settle for the new job if you can find a better job. You're not going to settle for anything else unless you like it's what is there it's true if there's more then you got to do more and this is how you got to look at your relationships is she the one well what do you need to worry about it right now what you need to worry about is who's going to be sticking around with you through thick and thin and that is to say that as you continue dating you know the girls will come and tell you i want a commitment girls will say hey I want to be exclusive. Girls will say, hey, I like you. Stop dating the other girls. And, and it's that simple. And then you have the choice to say, yeah, I want to or no, I don't want to. So take your time with that. Congrats on everything. This is awesome news. It's just great news. I love hearing these motivational, uh, you know, these motivational posts for me. That is what this is. And uh, if you want to be more specific in what's going on, 
If you want to really look at what's happening, we can go through uh, the scenarios that you have over the phone. Just book a coach call online at mentorsapproach.com. If anybody out there is having any kind of issues and would like to chat, please visit mentorsapproach.com and connect for a coach call. Please share this message with anybody who would find a value of it. And of course, please follow the page. Thank you. NikosRentosMentorsApproach.com.